We haven't seen much of you on the campaign trail since... Well, here I am. And we're delighted that you've come in. (laughs) Thank you very much. Uh, But (laughs) is one of the reasons that you've been kept under wraps is because... I've not been kept. I've been working very hard. I've been working very hard. And how how can you you trivialise and minimise the importance of this show? I'm not. Not at all. Whatever. We're delighted that you've come out. How can you minimise the importance of Good Morning Britain? But it's the problem for us is that that, that because you come out with quotes that take the headlines about mutton-headed mugwumps and you get distracted... Let's get back to the so I, oh, let's get back to mugwumps, if you, if you, if you want. Um, <laughs> you know, and I apologise to mugwumps everywhere for com- inadvertently comparing them to, to Jeremy Corbyn. But uh, the, the, the problem we've got is that uh, there's a, only two possible leaders on, on June 8th. And uh, I, I, I've, I've made the point before. We've got Kim Jong-un uh, seriously threatening his neighbours with nuclear weapons, which could one day reach this country. And yet you've got a leader of the Labour Party, uh, the only other potential Prime Minister, whose policy is actually to discard unilaterally, to discard Britain's uh, nuclear weapons. I think that's absolutely crazy.